Hello, my name is Tom. Today we're going to discuss nouns. What is a noun? A noun is an object. It can be something real, like a television or a book. It can also be something that is abstract, like love or hate, which we know exist, but we can't see them. Nouns uh, can be singular, which means that there's just one of them, or they can be plural, which means more than one. For most nouns, uh, an S sound is added to the noun to make it plural. For a lot of nouns, we just add a, an S. One dog, two dogs. Uh, for certain sounds, such as the, uh, the SH sound, or the ch, or if the noun ends in an s sound, or an x sound, we add an es sound. So bus turns into buses, church turns into churches. Then uh, there's a few other exceptions too, where the plural sound is different than the singular sound. Child turns into children, Woman turns into women. Then uh, some uh, nouns, the plural is the same as the singular. So we have one sheep, two sheep, three sheep. Some nouns, they uh, end in an F sound for the singular and a V sound for the plural. So wolf turns into wolves, a loaf of bread turns into loaves of bread. Then there is possession for nouns, which uh, ends in an S, but typically the S will sound like a, like a Z. So uh, Bill may have a book. So this is Bill's uh, book. Ends in a Z sound, but the letter is an S. Or uh, school's building, again, ends in an apostrophe S, but it has a Z sound. The possessive case is when a noun or an object is owned by somebody. So, for example, if I own a house, the house becomes Tom's house, apostrophe S, before the, after Tom. And the spelling, even though it's spelled with an S sound, most of the time it will sound like a Z. There are different types of nouns. Uh, if something is a name of a person or a name of a country or a, or a city, it will be capitalized, and that is a proper noun. So, for example, Paris or London, those are, those are cities. France is a country. Uh, common nouns are not capitalized, and most everyday objects are common nouns, such as a book or a television or a keyboard. Then uh, there are also there are nouns that are more concrete, which we consider to be more real. So a book is something that you can see. Then uh, also another way of looking at that, there are tangible nouns, which you can see. These are things that you can touch, such as a book. These things are concrete. Then there are intangible nouns, which are more abstract. These are things that you can't really see or, or touch very well with your senses. Example would be love or insurance. And then there are countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are things where you can have more than one. Countable nouns tend to be more concrete. Uh, also, there are uncountable nouns, such as sugar or milk. And uncountable nouns will either tend to be things where it's difficult to 
have a plural amount of them. It's usually a, a might be something in a container or where the nouns are more abstract. So this is an explanation of nouns and thank you very much for uh, going through this lesson. Stay tuned for the next lesson.